Hey everyone, so I thought I would actually talk about books in this hodgepodge vlog, if you can call it that. But first, I want to give a little bit of an update. As far as the channel goes, I am not feeling it <laughs> recently. I just haven't really... Actually, like I haven't really been feeling like I want to read. Um, I'll get into that soon, but also I just don't feel like filming a lot. I think it's because, it, you know, it's getting warmer. Um, I have friends and family that will be visiting in a month, and I'm really looking forward to that, and I'm really just looking forward to enjoying things and not filming them, and I think the constant, like, urge to document things can sometimes be exhausting to me. So, I think for the time being, I'm just going to try and get my reading groove back, and I don't know how long that will take, and I think, you know, if I feel like reading again, and that gives me more energy to film and make other videos, then I'll do it, but I can't really give you, like, a strict timeline for that, so I figured I'd drop this vlog and then take some time and keep you updated on Instagram probably. I know I just said that documenting sometimes is exhausting, but also taking pictures and posting them when I want to is less time consuming than like filming a video and then editing it and all of that stuff. So I think I will probably be more present there on my main grid and stories or whatever. But anyway, <laughs> On the topic of reading, like I said, just haven't really been feeling like reading. So I started the stack of library books that I talked about in my last haul, which you can click here and watch if you would like. I started two of the books that I got from the library. So I had started... Louis de Beniers, uh notwithstanding. I liked it, but I'm such a mood reader that I lost interest at some point and had to put it down because I don't like forcing myself to read. So, um, But there are a few stories in here that I thought were really adorable <laughs> and comforting. I mean, of the section that I actually finished. I really liked... Um, Obadiah Oak, Mrs. Griffiths, and the Carol Singers, and Mrs. Mack. But I ended up DNFing that. I ended up DNFing actually Rachel Cusk's Arlington Park. Um, again, I'm not sure if this is one that I like disliked. I was just not in the mood for it. I think... Yeah, I didn't get very far either, as you can see. I just feel like perhaps it wasn't moving quickly enough for me and I was already restless to begin with and the story was just kind of going slowly so I ended up putting that down. Second DNF. <laughs> I have a little bit left of a massive Agatha Christie biography that I also got at the library that was on hold when I picked up the last haul so I didn't talk about it. but. That biography is Lucy Ward. Wow. That biography is Lucy Worsley's newest release. Um, I got the Christie and Elusive Woman. I am at page one ninety four out of um, about three fifty, and I love it. But you know, I just pick it up when I feel like reading, and I've been at this for a week and a half, two weeks. Um, but I haven't DNF'd it yet, so this is one book that's going strong. I, as far as non hard covers, physical copies of books, I started. What was that called? I started a book by Daniel Handler that I couldn't get into. I started another book. Um, on Kindle, I think it's called They're Gonna Love You. I'm not far into that, and I don't feel compelled to read it. So I'm not sure if I'll keep going or that will be another DNF. So 
yeah, it's been a rough reading month, and I'm not being pulled towards any genre or any author or any of the books that I have on my shelves. So to me, that says I need to just chill, enjoy some other media, um, or just enjoy not engaging in media, I don't know, but... I'm just gonna live my life and wait until the passion for stories comes back, and it will eventually. I'm just a little bit burned out, and no wonder, really, since the past few months I've been reading upwards of eight books, so it's normal for me to kind of go through a low patch, but if I can finish that Agatha Christie biography, and that's the only book I read from it, then so be it, but yeah, so um. Sorry that this video is a little low on book talk, um, however, I repotted some plants <laughs> the past two days, so I figured I'd show you some of that, and I know I go to a lot of, like, little markets and stuff, and I usually document that for you all, and surprise, I'm going to another one tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is the first day of the Concord uh, Farmer's Market and Craft Fair. So I will be going to that to pick up some veggies, fruits, probably some baked goods. And then after that, I will be buying some flowers. I'm helping my friend Nicole plant a garden um, for late summer. We're going to plant in some hydrangeas and stuff like that. So I'll probably show you some clips of that and call it a day. But um, yeah. thinking that I would clear out my closet and it's something different, you know, maybe I can chat with you a little bit about some of the things that I'm giving away. I don't know, just different content. <laughs> okay, so a lot of the clothes that I have, well not a lot, but there's a few pieces in here that I have that I've been holding on to because I love them. However, I've gained weight um, since I purchased them and I have no intention of actively trying to lose weight. I'm comfortable with how I am right now and I think it's healthier and makes more sense for me personally to just get clothes that fit the body that I have now. And so a lot of the stuff that I have, if not all of it, is already used. So as far as personal expense, I, I'm not, it's not a huge loss and Essentially, these pieces are just being put back into rotation um, at places like Goodwill or Savers. Where to start? I need to get more tank tops. My go-to outfit is usually like linen pants with a tank top and I kind of just wear different versions of that, different colors. <laughs> and so like I'm looking at a lot of these t-shirts that I have and I don't really wear them. Although I do love this one. 
Here's one of my favorite little tank tops. So I like, I'll wear, well you've seen it before, but I'll wear like a cute little pattern tank top with linen pants. But I don't think it's a bad thing to have a lot of basics. So I think if I do anything else with my wardrobe, it's probably going to get, or it's probably going to be getting um, tank tops and then some basic long sleeve shirts because this is the only long sleeve shirt I have and it's barely a shirt because it's just like this <laughs> nylon see-through thing. And I have this still because it's the only long sleeve shirt that I have, but I'd like to get some comfortable, breathable, like, cotton ones. Because this is, it's just, I get sweaty and gross. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to really. This is my uh, Reproductive Fund of New Hampshire shirt. I love this. It's also just really tiny for me now. So I might, I might just get a new... I might actually get one of their new designs um, and actually like get it in my size. Um, so this is like my favorite pair of shorts because I absolutely love this mustard color. This is a shirt that's also way too small for me, but I I really love it because it's my Charles Dickens shirt. Mostly it was the worst of times. So I'll have to check on that. And then I have my various little bandanas and things that I like to wear. Honestly, I usually just wear these when I have a bad hair day when everything is just sticking up and I don't feel like taking yet another shower if I already have. I love this dress, but again, kind of like that nylon shirt, the material is cheap and it's started to irritate me over time, but I really do love this dress and I love how flowy it is, so I'm just going to put it to the side for now and then make a final decision later. This is the jumpsuit that I wore for our wedding, Samantha Pleat. I really love her design. She has a dress version of this. This is the jumpsuit. Yeah. And this I got used. Um, it's originally from Old Navy. It's actually a cute little dress. Like a baby doll shaped dress, but it's very tight on top. It cuts into my armpits a little bit and it's just too tight around my chest, so for a while there I was kind of tucking it in like this and wearing it as a skirt. But then again, it gets really thick up here and they end up having to adjust it all day. Okay, all of my winter sweaters are here and I'm wondering if I should actually fold these up and, I don't know, store them under the bed or something just so they don't take so much space and I really actually don't have that many sweaters. When I do have a special occasion, I'm always like, I don't have any shoes to wear, so I do have one pair of black boots there. And I do have these two. Which I do like, it's just I don't wear them that often because uh, they're just good backups for if there's like a special occasion where I need a nicer shoe than a Birkenstock. These are from American Duchess and they do historical fashion reprodu reproduction, specifically with shoes and stockings. So, um, yeah, so these are the Victorian walking boots. I don't have a lot of clothes. I mean, I don't think this is a lot of clothes. Um, but like I said, I think right now my goal is to get some basics, get some tank tops because I, I wear them, so it's worth it. I just right now have the black tank top and that's the little flower one, so I'd like to get like a white and a gray tank top. Um, I would love to have another pair of linen pants. I have um, one pair of sage green linen pants that are on the washer, uh, wash right now, and then I have the white pair, but those are also kind of tight on me now. I did bring them to the tailors to get them patched up because they started to wear a bit thin. So this is different than my usual content, but I thought it was kind of potentially interesting. Or not. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, um, I will see you in the next clip. <laughs>
Calls me day and night. I'm sorry, girl, you just don't make me feel right. I never meant to make you cry. You were right. Just leave me be. I'm not gonna put up a fight. And every time you wake up feeling worse, and then you check the time. It's never what it feels like. Just throw me in time. If everything.